Our peripheral nerves are not single wires, but complex bundles of thousands of nerves running side by side and branching off to muscles and skin areas on their journey. Nerve bundles are nourished by blood vessels running within and alongside them, and these blood vessels are critical to keeping the nerve bundles alive. Blood vessels, both large and small, can become inflamed, and inflammation of the blood vessels is called vasculitis. When the blood vessels become inflamed, the walls get damaged, and this results in blockage or clots forming and occasional leakage of blood cells. When blood stops flowing to patches of nerve, the nerves within the bundles stop working. And when this happens, patients experience sudden, often very painful numbness or weakness, or both, in the areas which the affected nerve supplies. More than one nerve can be affected at once. Vasculitis can affect the nerves alone or be part of a more widespread disease of the body. Isolated peripheral nerve vasculitis is very rare, can be quite difficult to diagnose and may accumulate over many months or years. More commonly, nerves are only one of many body organs affected by blood vessel inflammation. In these diseases, clues to vasculitis can be inflammation of the skin, the lungs and sinuses or kidneys. The diagnosis of a vasculitis often depends upon the initial history of the disease, specific findings when examining, and the results of tests. Electrical nerve tests are often performed with a screen of blood tests, and almost always a biopsy sample of an affected tissue is required so the nerve can be looked at under the microscope to check for inflammation. Vasculitis is another autoimmune disease, and we do not know what actually sets it off. However, we do know that to stop further damage being done, anti-inflammatory drugs are important. Anti-inflammatory steroids, called corticosteroids, work very quickly to squash the inflammation, but have to be used at high doses and often for some time. And there are many potential complications of these. Other longer-lasting drugs from the world of cancer chemotherapy are used alongside steroids, but these work more slowly, although they are often more effective in the long term. Over months and years, nerves can get better if the inflammation is fully turned off. But some symptoms frequently remain, and it's very difficult to give an accurate prognosis for recovery at the beginning of the disease.